One day, Hannah and her mother were on a very long line at a grocery store. The lady ahead of the had a huge round belly. She was going to have a baby. Mama, did you look like what you were going to have me? Asked Hannah. Oh, yes, said her mother. I was so big and it was a hot summer. What did you do while we wait? Asked Hannah. At the beginning of the summer, Grandma gave me an envelope of morning glory seeds to plant on the windowsill. She couldn't remember if the flowers would be blue or pink. Every day I opened the window and watered the box. The window didn't get too much sun. So I had to wait a long time before the seeds even sprout. It was a hot summer. I would take the bus downtown so I could go swimming at the YMCA. I wore a special bathing suit and swam laps back and forth, thinking about you all the while. In the evenings, Daddy and I would take walk in the park with our dog. Daddy would throw sticks for her while I sat on a swing. A few times we went to the shore and spent the day at the beach. We always ended up having a big dinner of clam or lobster before we went home. Once we went to a baseball game and sat high up in the stadium. When I cheered, you would kick me. The morning glory vines were growing tall and gangly. They wrapped themselves around the sticks I had put in the box. Toward the end of the summer, they finally get some buds. One Sunday, Grandma gave a party for me in her backyard. We ate hamburgers and hot dogs and watermelon. Everybody bought a gift for you and a little chair, a yellow sweater, a bowl of cereal, a tiny fork, and a tiny spoon. Daddy and I watched the morning glories. They had fat buds, but not one flower as yet. We couldn't wait for you to be born. And then, on a cloudy Wednesday morning, I felt you coming. We went to the hospital. You were born round and perfect and with lots of brown hair. What about the morning glories? asked Hannah. Oh, the morning glories. When I got home from the hospital, Bud, Bud had blossomed. It was a beautiful pink flower. And that's how the end of the story about Hannah. When you are born. Mama's belly was getting bigger and bigger. Soon it would be time for Hannah's sister to be born. Don't call the baby sister, said Mama. We don't know yet if it is a girl or boy. It has to be a girl, said Hannah. I already have a brother. Hannah had made big plans for her new sister. Her name was going to be Patsy. Her hair was going to be red. And her favorite ice cream was going to be Fudge World, just like Hannah's. No one in our family has red hair, said Daddy. That's why Patsy will, said Hannah. Hannah's fetching, getting ready for Patsy. She made her necklace out of spools and buttons for her. She made a pillow out of scrap materials of Wama's old skirt. She glued felt letters that spell P-A-T-S-Y on the pillow. Even if it is a girl, Mama and Daddy went to home her. Aim her and her name her Catherine, said Hannah's little brother Sam. Then Patsy will be her name, said Hannah. One, that's what I ca will call her. Hannah had it all worked out. First she would push Patsy around in a stroller covered with an old pink quilt from Hannah's bed. Then she would hold her on her lap and rock her to sleep. When Patsy learned how to speak, her first word was going to be, Hannah! When it's almost time for a new baby to be born, Hannah's grandma came to stay with them. Grandma loved to play the piano. Every morning and every evening, grandma played piano and Hannah sang along. Hannah changed their words so she could sing about Patsy. One morning, when Hannah woke up, Mama and Daddy were not home. Grandma was in the kitchen cooking oatmeal. Mama felt the baby coming, said Grandma. She and Daddy went to the hospital an hour ago. Anna, Grandma, and Sam ate some oatmeal. Anna kept waiting for the ringing phone. What's taking them so long, she said. Babies are born when they're good and ready, said Grandma. Anna made a welcome home sign with markers. It says, welcome to the best little sister in the whole world. 
Maybe you ought to make another sign to welcome a little brother just in case, said Grandma. No, said Hannah. Hannah arranged the sign on the couch along with the necklace and pillow. She wait and wait. Finally, just when Grandma was asking her if she want a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch, the phone rang. Hello, said Grandma. Yes, oh my, that's wonderful. News, congratulations. When Grandma hung up, she told Hannah and Sam, Your mama had a healthy baby boy. His name is Benjamin. Hooray! He started to dance. Are you sure it was a boy? said Hannah. It can't be a boy. Hannah grabbed the poster, the pillow, and the necklace off the couch and went to sit under the kitchen table. Hannah, don't you want any lunch? asked Grandma. No! said Anna. I want a sister. A baby brother's nice, said Grandma. No, it's not. A baby brother's terrible. I hate baby brothers, said Anna. How could they do this to me? Hannah said, Anna. <laughs> Finally, she got hungry, so she came up for dinner. Then Grandma said, Let's go to the hospital and see that new baby brother of yours. They met Daddy in the lobby of the hospital. Wait till you see your new brother, said to Hannah and Sam. He's the biggest baby in the nursery. They rode the elevator to the fourth floor. They looked to the window of the nursery. They were tiny babies in bassinets lined up in a row. Some babies were pink cups. Some babies were blue. There they said that they pointed to a baby in blue cap in the front row. Daddy smiling. Grandma was hugging Daddy. Sam was hopping up and down to get a better view. And I was looking at the sweet baby in a pink cup. Let's go see, Mama. The Daddy and the nurses are going to bring the baby up. For their feeding, so you will see Benjamin close up. Mama looked tired but happy. She was wearing a little plastic bracelet on her wrist. Everybody kissed Mama. Hannah asked her, Are you positive it was a boy? The nurse wheel in a bassinet with a baby in a blue cup. Here's your baby Benjamin, she said as she placed him in Mama's arms. After Mama fed and burped him and kissed him, she asked Anna if she liked to hold him. Anna sat with Grandma on the chair next to Mama's bed. That he placed the Hannah's arms. Now help Hannah. Be careful of his head, said Grandma. Hannah looked at the baby tiny nose and tiny mouth. She looked at his round pink cheek and light little fist. When she put her face close to it, she could feel his puff of warm and smell his favorite head. Hannah, you're going to be such a wonderful big sister. Look how happy he is sleeping in your arms, said Mama. Hannah looked at Benjamin. Maybe he would love Pod's World ice cream. Maybe she could wheel him around the stroller. Maybe Hannah would be his first word. What do you think, Hannah? asked Grandma. I did it pretty cute for a big, big brother. Said Hannah. Sam said, It's my turn to hold him. Give him to me. Shh, said Hannah. Can't you see my baby brother is sleeping?